Hey guys, so before this video starts, I figured I'd do a little primer. Uh, I'm going to try a little something here, this little series I'm going to call Let's Edit. Uh, I'm just going to take the very popular photos and try and edit them for you. Uh, just show you kind of what I did and how I made these photos, where they are, and basically I'm going to do it if you guys like it and uh, show you what my process is. Uh, hope you guys really enjoy. Uh, let's go on to episode one of Let's Edit. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Connor from ConnorMacroMedia.com, also known as Dirt Bowl Earth, pretty much throughout the internet. So I've been editing these RTX photos for about two or three weeks now, and I've started putting up a few of them, and you guys are really starting to like them. It's great. I love seeing you guys uh, appreciate the photos and uh, keep on liking them. I love watching all the feedback. I love reading all the comments. But I thought uh, maybe it would be cool to actually show you guys exactly what I'm doing and how I'm editing these photos and just give you a little bit of what happens after the picture is taken? Now, mind you, I'm not a professional photographer. I do this for fun. Uh, so I'm not going with all the normal rules that some other photographers might use. This is just how I did it. So take what you will, and I hope you enjoy. So take this photo of Gavin here, for example. So this shot, normally, I wouldn't really think much of just because it's not, well, it was a bad shot for my part, but I love his face. I love his look. So the first thing I'm always going to do is I'm going to come over here to lens correction, make sure it's an auto. Good, because if with this wide angle lens, this 16 to 35, it bumps it out. So it just flattens out the image a little bit better. Next thing I'm always going to do, hit auto. Why? Just to see where it puts me. Now, 95% of the time, I'm not going to use the auto, but it's a good place to try and start and see what the computer thinks it wants. Now. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bump all this light up, bump the shadows. And of course, I'm going to go into the, yeah. Now, here's the problem with the auto white balance tool, especially for me. Now, a place like this, you can see the background here. There's a lot of green. That green makes it very difficult to do white balance uh, adjust adjustments on stage. But I did have a white balance disc, so it made life a little bit easier. So I'm going to bump it to here. And then I'm just going to come over here to my presets, and I'm going to change it to effect presets. Oh, aha! See, this is what happens when you do this your first time. I'm going to punch it up. Now this photo's okay, but it's nothing really special to me, honestly. It's just like a really blast out photo. Now what normally happens is when I see that there's a photo that's good, but it's just not there, I'll try it in black and white and see how that looks. Now this actually has look a lot more potential to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go down here to the tone curve. And then let's take out some of the highlights. A little bit. Okay, that's getting there. So now you're seeing more of his face. It's actually more in a constant light. Now the next thing I'll try and do is just let's go to the extreme. Super contrast super uh clear, sharpen. Super contrast. Boom. Now we're starting to get somewhere, I think. This is a point where I'm starting to think that we might have a photo that's getting there. So I'm going to go still broad stroke. Let's drop the shadows a little bit. Down the white a little bit. We're going to darken that black a little bit just because we want to have a little, like the, a thick, rich black. I'm a pretty big fan of a nice, big, boomified contrast. Now, what we do next is go down here to uh, the detail. Now, the big thing is, especially if you're going to do photography, always focus on the eye. The eye is where you want to try and aim almost every single... You always want to aim to the eye. Now, if I go 3 to 1, which is super overkill on the closeness, you can see that's a little blurry, but it's still pretty sharp. If I go 1 to 1, you can see that it's nice and sharp. And everything is in focus around his eye. Uh, that's something we always want to make sure. If you don't have the face in focus, it's pretty much an unusable shot from my perspective. Uh, so I don't really have to do much with the detail. I'm going to do the sharpen uh, preset just because. Now it does change things a little bit. I might bring this up a little bit here just to see the difference. The maskings now you can't see it too much 
but there is a little bit of edge difference, which is good. It takes out just a tiny bit of the green. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fix the colors. Now, in this color shot, you can see everything's really, really super saturated right now. There's a lot of green. There's a lot of this bright white light. But I'm going to try and use some of that light to just give this a little more extra oomph. So what I could do is I can bring this green all the way up. You can see right here that lines the background or takes all the way out. So I'm going to bring the green up just a bit. I'm going to bring the blue down in his shirt just a tad. And of course, since the hall was extremely uh, warm colored, you can see if I drop down this orange and this red slider, it takes out a skin tone, but it also takes out some of the crowd in the background. Now that is pretty close to where I want to have it. I think I just want a little more in the shadows. Bring down the highlights just a tad more. Now this is where I almost, almost call this a finished shot. Uh, just something really quick, really simple. Uh, but that changed this photo that was pretty much unusable, I think. Let me find the original photo. So from there, which is, eh, it's an okay photo, to something here. Uh, that's something I'd use. That's a photo I like. That's a good marketing photo. That's a good promotional photo because it's got the smile. He's obviously engaged and entertained. And you can see that he's looking over at this point to Jeff to be like, oh, what are you doing? Uh, but that's like a full image. You can see people in the background. Uh, I like this shot. Uh, if you like this style of thing, I'm just going to call this photo here. If you like it, uh, please comment. Please like. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Like it on Facebook. Uh, I'll have links in the description below. If you like me doing these, uh, I'm going to call them Let's Edits, uh, let me know, and I'll keep doing more with some of the, uh, the bigger and more popular photos as you guys uh, vote on them by just view count. I can watch it all. Uh, so, until next time, Connor, hope you guys uh, like the photos, and uh, stay tuned because there's a lot more coming.